So when you talk about the racist, the horrific racist history of the Democrat Party, Democrats, Biden voters or whatever they call themselves, will start yelling party switch, party switch. They want to somehow appropriate the history of the Republican Party on the Democrats and also excuse the crazy racism of their own party. I mean, they were the party of the KKK, party of slavery, party of Jim Crow. So they will use this party switch lie in order to convince mainly young people that their history is actually not their history. And they get to, like I said, appropriate the history of the Republican Party on themselves. And they are teaching this to young people in high school and in colleges. So let's start with the 1960s with the with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Democrats will say that because Lyndon B. Johnson signed the act that now the party switched or that now they're no longer the party of racism. But during that time, there was immense pressure to pass the act like it was you had to do it no matter who was president. And also, let's not forget that 18 Democrat senators and one Republican filibustered with the longest filibuster in American history. And the Republicans had a much higher percentage that voted yes than Democrats. Now, they will say that there were some Democrat senators that switched parties during that time because they were upset about the bill. That was two senators. That's it. Just two. All of the rest of the racist Democrat senators that supported Jim Crow, they remained Democrats for the rest of their lives and in office, and they did not get excluded by the party. We're talking 60s and 70s here. Now, the black vote has changed from majority voting Republican to now voting Democrat. But Lyndon B. Johnson even said that when he signed the Civil Rights Bill, he was going to have those N words voting Democrat for 200 years. Now, they'll also say, oh, there was a party switch because the South is now voting red instead of blue. First of all, racism is not just a region and the policies of the Democrat Party have remained damaging to black America until even today. For example, blue states have the most segregated schools right now, New York and California. Look it up. They have the most segregated schools. Red states are the ones that have school choice laws so that when a student is stuck in some bad school, they can leave it. Also, Clinton won the South. In, the, in 1994, Clinton won the South. So just because voters switch doesn't mean the parties switched, especially in their policies and their racist politicians. And think about this. Republicans like Frederick Douglass and Booker T. Washington, their philosophies are totally opposite of the current Democrat Party. To somehow try and say they would have been Democrat now is a complete lie. Lastly, they voted for the most racist politician of the last 40 years, Biden.